everybody, and thank you very much for your time today. And today I'm coming to you from Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. No, it is definitely finally closed, the Inlet Square Mall. Yes, it did stay open past its original date of closure for mall walkers. But guys, finally on March 8th, it's done. So let's go ahead across the street and visit Aaron's. Wow, that sign is in really bad condition. I wonder what it was before. So for those of you in the comment section that maybe are from Merle's Inlet or Myrtle Beach, please let me know what was this building before it was Aaron's. I am definitely curious. You can see actually two label scars there, not only Aaron's, but also something else before that. So let's go ahead and walk around the building here. Let's start off, of course, in the front of the building. We're gonna walk around the side and check out the back also in a moment. Now we see some lovely label scars. We have computers, not available. We have appliances, not available. And then of course, let's take a look back at that sign. Guys, that sign has gotta be one of the rattiest signs that I have seen in a very long time. The entire bottom is rusted out and it looks like wires are hanging down. So uh, kind of unfortunate there, but you know what? The building overall is in nice shape and we'll take a look inside in a moment uh, that it definitely could be used for another retailer at any time, but just needs a little bit of power washing. And let's take a look across the highway. There it is, guys, the Inlet Square Mall. The sign is still up, of course, not working properly. It hasn't been working properly for years. And of course, there is Planet Fitness and there is the JC Penny. And then on the end, we will see the Belk in a moment. Now, Belk is supposedly staying and also Planet Fitness and stay is staying. Everything else is going to be redeveloped on that property and it will become a mixed use property for residential business and also for retail. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at Aaron's. Okay, that'll be the only joke that I'm going to make. And thank you for paying attention to my thumbnail and coming and joining for a little joke concerning Aaron's. So guys, I've never purchased or rented from Aaron's. I don't really know how it works. If you could, please let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious. I believe it is a non-credit uh, rental type system where you could buy electronics, furniture, bedding, all types of random stuff. I see the Maytag logo, I see the Compaq logo. I haven't had a Compaq computer for about 30 years, so I'm not sure when this location uh, closed. Yeah, actually my last Compaq computer probably was when I was about 20 years old, let's say. Uh, I'm not that old, by the way, I'm very young, I'm very young. So uh, as we take a look inside here, actually the ceiling's in great condition, the uh, drop ceiling, no issues there, I don't see any leaks. Carpet's in great condition. Uh, the glass on the front is nice. Luckily, nobody's come and done anything stupid to this location. So let's go ahead and take a look here on the left window. And there I see a Frigid Air logo off to the top left. I see some uh, stars and moon there. So maybe that was the bedding area in the back where you could check out the bedding that they had available. And let's go ahead and take a look at the sidewalk as we're going to meander our way to the side of the building. A sidewalk definitely could use a power wash. The shrubs certainly could use some shrubbing, if that could be the term. And guys, take a look at those handicap signs. That is what the heat and the sun does down here in South Carolina. It just brutalizes everything. Paint, decals, stickers, just absolutely tears things up. Uh, here in South Carolina and in the Southeast. And also, there's a really nice uh, strip mall that's next to this Aaron's. There's actually a very good tropical smoothie cafe for those of you that are into tropical smoothie. I certainly do like a tropical smoothie cafe every now and then. And guys, one of the things that I saw here, and you see also now in this picture, is the sandbags that were at the doors. So not really sure what was going on there because obviously the building is set up a little bit higher than the rest of the elevation of the property. So typically sandbags are really only used if you have some type of flooding issue or maybe if there's a hurricane, but not really sure what was going on there. Kind of weird. So let's go ahead and go to the bank. Sleeve, this one is for you, my friend. We are going to be checking out two, two, two. I said that three times, sorry about that. Two, two, tube machines. 
let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on at this former PNC location that is in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Now this is one of only, I believe, two or three locations for PNC Bank here in South Carolina, which is kind of ridiculous because PNC is a northern um, uh, Midwest type company. Uh, I know that they're based out of Pittsburgh, obviously used to live in Pittsburgh. So PNC really should be uh, having much more of a presence down here in South Carolina because there are a lot of folks uh, from Western PA, Pennsylvania in general, Ohio, Indiana, and those are big markets for PNC. Guys, look at this. This is a pretty cool location. We can see all of the keys are there in the drawers. Obviously, there's probably no cash in there for us, but of course, we are not going to go into the building. We don't break into things. We're just documenting previous retail history. I want to send some something. I want to send that power core, whatever that is, a core power. Yeah, it's one of those drinks. Uh, I don't even drink those, but you know what? Somebody left it there. I want to send a carry. I want to call the teller. Not working, kind of sucks, but you know what? That's okay. Let's go ahead and check out the front of this PNC bank. Now, it looks like this location is getting a little bit of a uh, construction redevelopment, maybe a little bit of a facelift, maybe something else is moving in soon. This is kind of like an office, a uh, little office strip mall here. And this PNC location, by the way, very awkward location. You would basically be coming from um, uh, Merle's Inlet, uh, going through Pauley's Island, and you basically would fly right past this location if you were heading back towards Charleston. So there were a few times where I was like, wait a second, there's a bank over there? So finally, when I saw it go out of business, I said, hey, you know what, I gotta go check it out. And so I actually stopped, grabbed a coffee from the Circle K that is behind me right now. You'll see the teller areas have been removed. The uh, deposit area has been removed or uh, basically covered over. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the back door real quick and see what we see. Let's see if there's something amazing. Well, doesn't look too amazing. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, hey, thank you very much for joining me for the update at the Inlet Square Mall. Also for the visit to Aaron's and also this PNC Bank. I greatly appreciate your time and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.